Hello, this is Zach, and I'm going to show you how to attach parts together that are on the same tag line, but the attached part isn't fixed length. So I have here a stick wall system, and there's an adapter in the front to attach an extended cover. And I want to attach this adapter to the vertical in the shop. So I've set these two up in the same tag line, which you can see here. Here's the main vertical, and this is the adapter. They're in the same tagline, and the adapter is labeled as shop use, so they know they have to do something to it in the shop. Here's my BIM model, and I've laid out these parts so that they look like they're uh, in the right place in the BIM model. So to attach, to attach them together, it's very similar to the process for attaching things that are fixed length. I go over here to my takeoff properties window, and the first thing is and make sure that this, is a, this vertical is a different fab number from the other verticals. This vertical is fab number one, this one's fab number two, because once I attach this part together, the fab number two is going to have that adapter built into the template. So I want to make sure that since this one doesn't have that extended cover, that it has one picture, and then the one that does have the extended cover has a different picture. Same process for a fixed length attachment. Then I go over here, and I click my pre-assemble extrusions button. Now AutoCAD's asking me to pick the main extrusion, which is this vertical here, and then select the extrusions to attach. I only have one in this case, but if I had multiple, I could pick them all, and it's this red one here. It's a little hard to see in this view. Let me rotate it around and zoom in this adapter. Select that. So I've just basically told the program to attach these together. And if I go and open up this template, well, first of all, you can see in the takeoff properties window that the attachment is listed below. And if I go to the fab template, it's drawn in this part attached to the other one in the template itself. And it put it in the same relative location that it was in my BIM model. I left a little, I left this short um, a little bit so we can put an end cap on the uh, extended cover on this side and over here it's a little shorter because the head goes in front of the vertical and I need, an end I need room for expansion and the end cap. Now if I wanted to draw a leader calling this thing out I can come over here and right click draw a leader just like a, for a fixed length part. I can point to it and it comes in with some pre-made text and also it already sets up my chart so that the mark number for this part will be listed here. The final thing is, and you can't forget this, save this template. Doing this, telling it that these two are attached because they're on the same tagline, this is stored in the data it knows that whenever I use that tagline, both of those parts will be attached together. So I, after doing this, I've changed the data, and in order to save the changes to the data, I have to save this drawing. So I'm going to save it. It asks me if I want to make a base data change or an override. I'll make this a base change. And now whenever I use that tag, those two will always be attached together. And it will show that in this takeoff properties window. That's all there is to it. Thank you very much.